What's up, YouTubers? So, anyways, um, about three days ago, um, I had a, uh, I had to put a new hose on the reservoir of my uh, power steering, uh, my van, because it was leaking. So I put the, the hose on. It's, uh, I'm, by the way, I'm not a mechanic. Very frustrating to do even the little minute things because I always seem to fuck things up. So I get the hose back on barely. So I'm driving down the street and uh, my uh, my van starts kind of acting funny, right? And I'm like, ah, oh, shit, what did I do now? So I went to uh, this place to charge uh, my batteries up because uh, the solar panel is just not cutting it. So I had to get it done at a at a battery place and um and my car is not starting uh, my van is not starting i'm like ah shit so i'm trying to start it i had to start try it five or six times to start it finally it started and then all day long i'm like turning it off turning it off starting it up turning it off starting it up so finally uh later on that night i'm coming out of mcdonald's and i go to start the van and not a fucking thing just <laughs> And I'm like, fucking hey, it's not starting. I fuck with the spark plugs, nothing doing. Spray some quick start uh, in the air filter, not nothing. So I knew it wasn't getting any spark. So I called the tow truck. Uh, by the way, always uh, always have AAA guys, uh, very invaluable. Always have AAA. And so, anyways. They come tow it. I don't know any garages here. I don't know anybody. I don't know any mechanics. I'm in Philadelphia. So I said, ah, fuck it. Just take it to Pet, Pet Boys. You know, let's see what they say. I pretty much was, was just going to tell them, hey, I need a tune-up. Because I was fairly certain I needed a tune-up. Anyways, drop it off at Pet Boys. So I go crash in the van. Next day, wake up. Go in there and tell them, hey, you know, what the, what the problem is. Fucking bumps in Philadelphia. So I, um... Drop it off there. I cut, uh, he calls me on the phone, and uh, he's saying that uh, over the phone he's like, "Yeah, you need a you need a major tune-up." Well, what, I don't know what the fucking major tune-up is. A tune-up is a tune-up is a tune-up. So I'm like, "Okay, how much is the tune-up gonna cost me?" I'm not gonna fucking do it because I tried to do a tune-up before on a car and I fucked the distributor cap, so I don't like touching shit. So uh, he says, "Well, the distributor system," he called it. It's $489. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute for a minute. Hold on. Fuck do you mean a distributor system is $489? Am, am I a fucking woman who's fucking ran out of gas and has called you to fix my car? Well, you think I'm a fucking dummy? Uh, no offense to any women, uh, but you know what I'm saying. I'm not a fucking idiot. So... He goes, yeah. He goes, and uh, he goes, you need a, a fuel injector cleaning, a cleaning, which is total bullshit. There's really no such thing to me as fuel injecting cleaning or whatever. It's some bullshit chemical that they put into your fucking car to clean it out. It's all horseshit. I don't know. I, I don't know if the stuff at the at AutoZone or, or Advanced Auto Parts works, but uh, that's all they do. They buy it. Six dollar bottle of Lucas poured in your tank, and there you go. There's your fuel injector cleaner. So, anyways, so I said, hold on, wait a minute. So I went across the street because I, I was at the gym uh, working out a little bit, you know, try to, you know, keep, keep in shape a little bit. And uh, he starts basically telling me that the uh, that I needed a, 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 a tune-up, a major overall tune-up, and it's gonna cost a thousand dollars. A thousand fucking dollars for a tuna at Pet Boys on 24th and Rittner in Philadelphia. Scumbag. Oh shit, this guy right here. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, I'm gonna. I'm fucking driving on the sidewalk right now. <laughs> Anyways, this fucking scumbag. Wait, let me see. Where's that receipt? I wanna. I wanna put his name on. Uh, on my video. This fucking scumbag at Pet Boys trying to fucking rip me off. Okay, here's his name. Here's his fucking name at Pet Boys. Uh, let's see. Service Manager Joshua Shepard. Joshua Shepard at Pet Boys, 2298 Rittner Street in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. You fucking scumbag. Uh, $485.81 for a distributor. $113 to do the job. $146 for a tune-up package. 
$101 to remove and replace the distributor cap, 20 bucks for their limited warranty bullshit, and uh, $89 for a three-step Pro Fuel package. So let's see, 500, 600, 750, 850, oh, oh my, $980 for a fucking tune-up. Pet boys, you, fucking total fucking scumbags. You guys are fucking something else. So, uh, so I told them a big fuck you. Uh, I'm gonna fucking take my van. So, anyways, I get my van from there and I try to start it and it starts right fucking up. And I'm like, what the fuck? I, uh, I thought it was funny. It started right up. So I know I need to just need a tune up. So uh, I put it out on Craigslist. Uh, this guy hit me up. He goes, hey, I'll do it for uh, 50 bucks. He goes, it'll take me an hour. He goes, buy the parts, let's do it right now. I went up to his house, drove about 30 miles, but it was worth it. Drove it to his house, bought all the parts, bought it, cost me about 100 bucks. He did it in like 50 minutes. New cap, new air filter. I gave him uh, I, gave, I gave him 65 bucks. I gave him a couple bucks more. It took him about an hour and 10 minutes. And he was done. 65 bucks. 165 bucks to get my van running good again. And fucking Pet Boys... On 2298 Rittner Street in Philadelphia wants to try to fuck me in my ass. Okay, good shit, Pet Boys. You fucking suck. Fuck you guys. I'm never, ever stepping foot in a Pet Boys ever again. Total fucking bullshit. Uh, that, that, I mean, you know, it's one thing. Like, if they would have charged me like 350 bucks for the tune-up, I probably would have just had them do it because I didn't feel like going on Craigslist looking for people to, to try to fix my van or whatever. And I don't like doing work on my own stuff because I always seem to fuck things up um, unless I'm very desperate then I'll do it myself but uh, you know if I could get away without uh, doing it and get somebody who's in a mechanic an actual mechanic tell me that's fine uh, so anyways a little rant uh, a little rant from the van uh, anyways I'm back in the same McDonald's where I was uh, where I broke down and uh, hey yeah baby started out just fine uh, great mechanic uh, it's running great and uh, if I don't get a job here in Philly by f this coming Friday, which will be in two days, uh, I'm going to head down to Baltimore, uh, continue my cross-country travels. Was going to go to New York and boondock for a while, but I don't know if I feel like it. Anyways, um, this video is a little bit longer than I care to uh, to have it on. It's already been seven minutes and a half. So anyways, um, uh, peace, love, and happiness. Stay the fuck away from Pet Boys. My friends, stay the fuck away from Pet Boys. Pet Boys sucks. They try to fuck me in my ass without any lube. What the hell? Uh, but thank God I got my van fixed and um, another day has passed. Uh, so uh, I'll see you later. Uh, have a good day. Stay the fuck away from Pet Boys. They fucking suck.